Hey, savvy home buyers and sellers. This is Jeff O'Leary, the Village Guru, Mississauga real estate broker. And today I'm gonna to give you the four things you should look out for in a community that you're gonna move into. Now, this video is good for anybody watching. However, if you're a home buyer and you're relocating into a new community or moving from somewhere far away, you're really not gonna to wanna to miss this. Buying a home in an area you're not familiar with can always be stressful because at the end of the day, how do you know if it's the right fit for you and your family and what you're looking for in a lifestyle? So I always tell people to take some time beforehand to do your research, to understand, get a feeling for where you're gonna live because it'll help you and help you to make a better decision. So here are the four things that I look out for in a community and I suggest you do them too. Number one, drive around the neighborhood, drive around the streets. What are the conditions of the homes in the area? So look at the overall condition. Are they upcapped? Are they run down? Also look at people's landscaping, the lawns. Do people mow them? Do they take good care of them? People who really like their homes, trust me, they, they take care of the little details. Very important. Tip number two, go to the local plaza. What type of businesses are in the area? Are you seeing more payday loans, dollar stores, things like that? Or do you see coffee shops and spas and small businesses. You can find out a lot by the local businesses in the area. Number three, go to the local grocery store. What type of produce and products do they carry? Do they have a lot of organic produce, uh, high quality meats, things like that? That's going to tell you that the clientele there are willing to pay money for those type of products. See, grocery stores spend millions of dollars finding out who lives in an area and what's going to sell to them. So use this to your advantage. Number four, you need to find out the ratio of owners to tenants in an area. Because let's face it, owners are more likely to upkeep their property because they own it and they want it to go up in value. Whereas if you have a lot of tenants in an area, it's going to be more transient and people are going to be coming and going all the time. And that might not be good for you if you're spending a lot of money on a home. So definitely find out what the percentage of owners to tenants there are in the area. So there you have it. I'm Jeff O'Leary. If you're moving into an area you're unsure of, take the time in advance to do the research. And if you find uh, with these four things that I told you that you're not happy with the answers you're getting, then you need to keep looking until you find the right community for yourself. Well, I hope you like my video on four tips on what to look for in a neighborhood when moving to a new community. If you're moving into Mississauga or the West GTA and you're looking for a little more advice, feel free to reach out to me either through my website or you can find my contact details in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.